Hello world, welcome back to the Razor RC. And I just want to put together a little video talking about what in my opinion the right way to put battery straps on your Traxxas Sledge. So if you see my Traxxas Sledge review, uh, really one of the number one things I complained about was that the battery tray just doesn't hold a whole lot of different types of batteries. We're running 6S battery packs, especially different sizes. It's nice to get something that will actually fit. These are all designed for Traxxas batteries and unfortunately, or fortunately maybe, most people don't run Traxxas batteries on their Traxxas vehicles. So I uh, just want to talk about some battery strap options. First off, I'm running a hot racing, uh, I guess they call it the tall battery strap or something like that. Um, it's not that expensive, I think like 15 bucks or so. I'll put a link in the description below, but uh, that will help you basically get a, a battery strap lengthwise. I'd say it's optional, you don't have to have that, but I'm running that in addition to two additional battery straps. So the one thing I highly recommend you do uh, for the side battery straps is actually uh, Dremel out some channels for these. So on the bottom of this thing, it's kind of flat. It's got basically like some grooves where it lays against the chassis. I highly recommend you cut out some channels for these things to sit in. You don't really want this strapped up against the chassis itself. It's gonna allow you to move a little more freely. Um, and then the other thing is it's not going to be rubbing up against the chassis and potentially wearing through. Uh, this just, you know, it's probably the proper way to do it. Um, there's a couple different spots you can choose. There's one here on the end. If you if you run your battery a little more towards the back, maybe use that. If you run it all the way to the front, maybe you want to do the middle and the front. So just Dremel out basically channels, you know, the width of a battery strap, whatever you're using. I'm running these, but, uh, you know, maybe you want three quarter inch straps, whatever you want. Uh, just cut the appropriate size. And then you definitely want to just kind of file it down with like a nail file just to make sure there's no sharp edges you don't want anything obviously cutting or rubbing up against the battery strap so uh, another good thing is to use some sort of foam here in the front so as an ex example I've got this Cypalm 6000 milliamp success soft pack so I basically just kind of throw this in the front uh, with a piece of foam that way when you run into stuff you got a little bit of cushion doesn't completely crash and uh, smash the front end of this thing. You know, there's not a whole lot of uh, protection here in the front. It's kind of just a bottom half uh, type battery strap. So I do recommend you use something there. And then, uh, you know, I'm using 11 and a half inch battery straps. This is pretty much the perfect length uh, for this size battery. Uh, and you could also, you know, use a little bit bigger um, battery as well. It would still have plenty of Velcro. And then uh, over here on, you know, it's just an extra piece you can use if you want. Um, but yeah, a little bit more work to thread this through. And then, um, you know, as you can see there, just super solid. This thing is impossible to go anywhere. It's gonna be really well protected and allow me to run uh, different size batteries. So yeah, that's basically what I'm running uh, for the battery straps. I haven't seen anyone else, you know, sort of put together a battery strap video that I like. This is how I'm doing it. And I think it's kind of the best solution. Uh, it doesn't cost a whole lot either. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.